Welcome to the fourth day of the Bullet GC32 Racing Tour of Cows. And today the teams were facing quite a different prospect with the famous Round the Island race on today's agenda. It was an early start with the four GC32 boats leaving the dock at dawn for the 50 nautical mile race around the Isle of Wight. It's great because it's you know, a lot of uh, history here. Um, you know, it's very uh, a lot of traditional boats, yet there's some um, some moderns in there and and some multi holes and some bigger boats. And you know, being a little 32 footer uh, is pretty scary when you're around some of the you know 100 foot um, you know big, big traditional sailing yachts. And no, I think it'll be a fantastic race with the five boats in our class. Um, the one thing that's going to be uh, un, you know hard to predict is how rough the sea state will be out uh, the south end of the island. This year, over 1,500 boats took part in the annual event. First run in 1931, it has since then become one of the great sporting institutions in Britain. The boats range from the multi-hull speed machines to your weekend cruisers who aim to make it round the island before the tides turn against them. I was praying. The GC32 fleet were on the second start and the race began with a slow upwind leg to the iconic Needles. With almost perfect conditions, the fleet were on target to beat the race record set by Ben Ainsley's AC45 catamaran two years ago. Team NG were first to round the famous rocks, followed by Alinghi. The rough seas in the south side of the island really tested the teams and put any record attempts out of the window. Sultanate of Amman overhauled the fleet and crossed the line one minute ahead of Lingi in three hours and 50 minutes. Team NG took third place with Team Argo 32 in fourth with less than six minutes separating the four boats. It was a very different race to the light winds of last year, where Paul Campbell James took line honours. Replacing the injured Lee McMillan on Sultanate of Amman this year, he enjoyed the speed and challenges of the race. Yeah, it was a very different race to last year. Last year we drifted round, barely foiled, and it took us nine hours. And this time it was, uh, especially on the back side of the island, was windy, wavy, really full on, and it took us half the time. So um, yeah, it was, it was wicked fun today. The closing ceremony saw the winners from the inshore races receive their prizes on the podium. It's been a successful event in cows, wind, sun, and lots of action. And with the top of the overall leaderboard as tight as it can be, the Bullet GC32 Racing Tour moves to Kiel in Germany at the end of July. We'll see you then.